hey, we don't have anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Not surprisingly. Namaste, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across the planet. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com and Zentasia.com, and I'm joined by... Hi, I'm Michelle Walling from HowToExitTheMatrix.com, as most of you know. And we're um, doing a dual feed right now. Mm -hmm. Hello to everybody on my Facebook and hello to everyone on Greg's Facebook. We're doing a test. Yeah, I've got five, you've got four. So we're reaching about as many people um, currently. So anyway, uh, just a quick shout out to those that are joining right now. Um, Look, got you've got a lot. Courtney, Jennifer, Kirk, Tanzina, Sandy, Christy, Jim, Tracy, Alaya, Donna, Mona. Yeah, we're picking up people. Yeah. Something happened. Thank you, universe. Yeah, we're hi, actually Rebecca, Elaine, up. Roman, Debbie, Susan, Alina, Jill, Peter, Sandra. Welcome. Yeah. We want to do a frequency update today, and I'm basically mirroring uh, Greg's uh, frequency update so we can reach more people with it and to um, talk about uh, what's happening with the energies. Yeah, and before we get into that, I want to mention that on the way out to do the beach report today beforehand, um, I actually saw this one crow, and then I saw two crows, and then three crows, and everything comes into your life for a reason. So I looked up the metaphysical meaning for crow, and it means there is a great transformation, in, uh, I'm sorry, there's a great transformation happening within you right now, trust that your life history has prepared you for this momentous change. And it's not just me. When I get these messages, it's like a global kind of message that we're, we're getting, giving everyone. And it was actually confirmed by Michelle this morning with a photo you saw. Yeah, um, synchronicities always occur when some transformations and energy updates are happening. And um, I was scrolling on my Facebook feed and saw a post um, of a crow and uh, it was from a year ago so somebody had to make a comment on that post from Chelsea Todd from a year ago for, for it to come up in my newsfeed today and I noticed it and it was you know in my brain and then he went out and saw the crow and he came back of course it took me a few few minutes to go oh you know I just saw that crow on the newsfeed so synchronicities about yeah and then while we were out there before I was just prepping to get the uh, beach update together. Uh, this We were sitting out by the beach and this little tiny butterfly, yellow butterfly flies right in between us. The so, baby butterfly. Uh, yeah, another sign of transformation. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, important to pay attention to these cues and clues that we're given each mm -hmm. day. And one of these cues and clues that we're getting are these high pitched frequencies. Um, every day we're, we're getting these different high-pitched frequencies and a lot of people notice them and admitted Yeah, I'm getting them But we didn't really know exactly what they are But I've really came across a lot of information in the past week or so and I've been charting them and I'm finding that throughout the day. There's numerous frequencies that are coming in and today's a really good example. So I've got my guitar here um, Hi everybody, if you're just joining us, Greg's doing a frequency update and I'm mirroring him on my Facebook page to help reach more people because he's been what they call shadow banned on Facebook. So he's hearing high pitch frequencies. I'm not, by the way, I'm not hearing them. I have a constant um, hum uh, frequency that is always present in my head, which is a harmonic look, kind of low to high uh, tone, but he's talking about these frequencies that you know literally come in on one side or the other. Right now, the current one I'm hearing is in a G major, and this would be the highest note of a G I can hit on my guitar. But imagine that sound that you're about to hear being like two or three or maybe more octaves higher than this. Is anyone hearing this right now? This That's a high pitched frequency, but imagine, like I said, that being several octaves higher than this. Or even harmonic sometimes. Earlier today, when I first woke up, I'm, I'm looking at the comments. 
But yeah, imagine imagine that as a higher pitch frequency, and it's it's resonating exactly with the the tone I'm hearing right now. But earlier when I woke up today, it was a C major. You know, a C is this the chord itself, a C is comprised of the C E G B E notes. So C G E B E. So within those notes, actually the, let me preface this by saying that the C major is the root chakra. Within those notes, the C E G B E The C is the root chakra, then you have the solar plexus, the throat chakra, and the crown chakra within that chord. So not only are you getting the root chakra, but you're getting all those uh, other notes that are within the chord of the root, solar plexus, throat, and crown. But if you notice, it skips every other one. We're missing three chakras in that. So about, I don't know, maybe an hour later, I told Michelle, hey, it, the pitch changed and it went to a D major. So this would be a D. And that would be the sacral chakra. So we started out and in the root chakra, we moved into the sacral chakra, but the notes within the D you would have a D, A, D, and an F sharp. And wouldn't you know it that the notes that were missed or the chakras that were missed in the C major, all the chakras were covered in the next frequency with the D major. So it just balanced everything out. And I thought that was fascinating that we had all the major chakras covered within the, within the notes of the frequency. And we also covered the root and the sacral chakra as the first two chakras are, uh, well, the root chakra is basically mother earth. You know, this is what we ground into every time when we um, ground and the, with the, not the sacral, yeah, the sacral chakra is our, you know, like, sensuality. What about the sexual chakra? Well, there... When are you going to get notes for the sexual chakra? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you skip over that? The sacral yeah, chakra that. is our emotional bodies, creativity, <laughs> and sensuality. Sensuality. But you haven't gotten one for the, for the... I'm just curious. I'm curious, A, have you gotten one for the heart? and the sexual chakra for l lately. And I'm also curious, do you hear them all the time? Are you hearing it all the time and all then the it time. changes? Okay. All the time and it shifts. Okay. So yeah. he's hearing this. Oh, that must be annoying to have high pitch frequencies in your ears all the time. But we know that the, that, that, um, the way that we are manifest form into physicality is by, um, is through energy and it's, vibrating at a certain frequency which has its own sound so this is uh because it's happening to you this way um it's it would be interesting to find out how many other people it's happening to because it would i would be curious to see is this your journey is this what's happening to you at this time or are you tuned into the collective well i've actually uh, made a mention of that on youtube and somebody was asking me about that as well there are some people out there that are musicians that can confirm that they're hearing the oh, same cool. thing. So that's, that's cool. what I've gotten. And that's why I decided to do this uh, video right now here instead of at the beach and telling you guys about what's going on. Because this way you can actually hear the high pitched frequency. That's the octave. Well, that's the, the note of G as far up as I can play. But like I said, I'm hearing it two or three octaves higher than that. So if you just want to show off your guitar. Oh yeah. So That's I, a beautiful I, guitar. Want to show, I want to show off how I can play one note on my <laughs> beautiful guitar. Well, remember um, when we were, when we had the superpower activation conference here in Sarasota, uh, we talked about um, superpowers mm -hmm. and our superpowers being activated. So yes. it seems like that one of your superpowers is now this clear audience that's come online. Joanna is saying on your, live feed that she hears the high pitch frequency because I don't hear them uh -huh. so this must be this clear audience that's coming um, to people so that we can have confirmation 
that we are being retuned that our chakras are being spun mm -hmm. at that certain frequency to open up the chakra. Okay. And part of the work that I'm doing right now, the research I'm doing right now has been about the chakras and how we have an overlay system. And the overlay is what divides the white light like a prism into the seven colors and it separates everything. Okay. And um, in order to unify the chakras and have uh, your and my crown chakra right now is tingling like crazy. <laughs> Mine too. In order to have your um, your column of white light and be unified and whole and balanced, and uh, what happens is these when that happens after this the chakras are all spun, they become unified and then it, it pretty much conglomerates into the heart center and into the high heart, and that's what people are talking about when they say, "Just come from your heart center." Now, if you have uh, emotional blockages, um, trauma, uh, you know, heartbreak, you know, things like that. It's going to be hard for your heart to, it, it, it actually happens. Dan Winter talks about it, uh, about entropy. And it actually happens when you do have an open heart or when you're being uh, loving and caring and a good person. That's when the chakras, when we have all of the other frequencies coming to the planet at this time that's what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to be able to uh, bring everything into oneness into this column it's like it's like the cross it's like the real cross what it really is about is this and then this and that balance the x marks the spot right on xmas that's where xmas, X -mas came from but they hijacked everything yeah well and just getting to your comments here rebecca's saying that she hears the g but higher exactly that's what i mean it's a higher it's like three octaves higher or more. Yeah, and Nicole says that she feels them more than hearing them. Now, um, another thing, uh, you know, my computer, Facebook and videos and articles, they all tell me a story. It's like my guidance or, or myself, my higher self is planning out my whole day mm -hmm. with messages. And um, last, there was someone who posted on, on uh, who I saw on my Facebook wall that said that there was a huge, huge, huge shift last night, something really big happened and um i think we're just going we, you know we're going to that next level that was a huge shift not a huge ship <laughs> or or the other <laughs> <laughs> or a huge yeah shit there was a so, huge shit, shit out in saudi arabia with that flooding yes you know another thing to add to the um to the to the chaos that they're trying to pull off and you know when there's all these things um, with the wildfires and flooding and when we had hurricanes here and now we have the ocean you know when all this is happening at once people have been calling it you know Armageddon the end of the world and all that stuff and what it really is is we are we are transforming you know transformation is uh, I think what you could call what happened in 2018 to most of us and um, because they're seeing this it's like the it's it's like confirmation the more that happens out there they're they're trying to attack humanity to keep them from doing what we're doing right now i mean we are literally uh getting ready for we are shifting we're getting ready for that for we're not that. shitting we're trying to get out of this reality we're shipping we're trying we're trying to <laughs> to what we're doing is we're actually <laughs> i do think it's funny i've just i got my mind on something else um we are, we are trying to dissolve the matrix, the control matrix that's out there right now. Um, and hopefully together we find ourselves in a reality where the um, soulless beings are not there. The, the We don't need that overlay matrix where half of the people on the planet are not real. They're backdrop people like Dol Dolores Cannon talked about. And we don't have uh, the frequencies coming from the satellites, the cell phone towers, the television, the phones, and we don't have um, the frequencies uh, that support the implants that are in our body from the food, the air, the water, and then um, vaccines and um, etheric, frequent, etheric implants. So none of those will work anymore. And that is what shuts our chakras down or blocks our chakras from spinning and our chakras are literally the plugs in the Matrix movie when he when Neo starts pulling the cords out of his 
out of all of this uh, plugs on his body. That's what the chakras actually are. Now, the chakras were created in this human body to have, to be cut off, to have a human experience uh, and forget who you were so we could play a game, but they were hijacked. So we're doing something different here. We're integrating, uh, we're raising our frequency with the planet and uh, we're integrating all of our chakras. I'm noticing here, uh, Cynthia Myers made a comment that she's hearing a G in the left ear and an E in the right ear. Oh, I gotta talk about something when you're done. Um, the, the E would be the solar plexus and the G is the throat chakra. So you're looking at something going on between these chakras and chances are they're probably balancing out. That's what I'm picking up. One's balancing out the other or helping to transmute that. Just want to give a quick shout out to the people that are here and just as a note, um, you know, I've got more followers, not a whole hell of a lot more than Michelle, but um, she's got 60 people and I've only got like 23. Uh -huh. Well, no, it just goes to show you guys that I, I know you <laughs> guys aren't receiving this. the notifications. Yeah. And we proved that earlier today Yeah. Um, on, on the Facebook Live. But a quick shout out here to um, the ones that are able to pick up this feed to Tony. Before you move it. Uh, Jennifer says, I've been getting what sounds like Morse code in my right ear. Oh, you got that. Had it three different days now. It was very loud on 11-11. When I, when I first uh, started my awakening process in 2009, into 2009, 2000, beginning of 2010, I was in Canada, and I was sun gazing, and I had my feet on the ground, and I started receiving loud Morse code in my head, too. And um, at the time, I was I was a drinker, and I had a, a beer bottle, and I could mimic the actual um, tone uh, by blowing in the beer bottle. It sounded like a I can't do it now. It sounded like a foghorn, but it was an intermittent Morse code. And um, I looked everywhere on the internet. I saw high pitch frequency posts, but nothing about that. And uh, what it is is it's your actual soul song and your star family uh, communicating back and forth and eventually um, your Morse code will turn into a solid uh, band of tone and it will be it would it will also uh, continue to rise in harmonic scales and it will expand um, so you'll have maybe three octaves is what I have now it was so loud by the way that I couldn't sleep Tammy's saying the same thing about the Morse code. Cool. Now that's that should start getting higher octaves as your frequency raises. And what you're doing is co you're communicating back and forth with your star family and um, could actually allow some of your star family or higher selves to to walk in and join you. And uh, I, it got so loud I had to ask uh, for uh, them to, to make it not as loud and kind of like in the background so I could sleep at night. I used to have to sleep with a loud fan just to sleep because it was so loud. So did you wanted to say hi to some people? Yeah, I did. Uh, to Tony and Cariel Paladin, Paladin? Mm -hmm. Julia Ethnia. Why do I get all these hard names? I can't get, <laughs> That's like not a Joe. hard name. You, you're Athena. just hard. <laughs> Athena? Athena. Athena. Athena, okay. Just spelled definitely. A-T-H-Y-N-A. -A. Uh, Camille Berna. Felix, Janice, Deborah, Jonathan, Jaja, Heidi, Pat, Maline, Maline, Patricia, and everyone else that's joining in. Thank you so much for joining in. This is the, if you're joining in late, I've been getting these high pitch frequencies, and like all of you guys, or most of you people, have been getting, um, and I've been charting them. And as we know, you know, every sound is a frequency and it has a certain energy a signature attached to it. So what I, you know, as a musician, I'm able to find that frequency and then the, each frequency, each note means something. So we can deduce what that high pitch frequency is through the note and then understand the meaning of the note. All the great composers knew these, uh, they would write their fugues or opus and in a certain note, it'd be like a B flat, you know, if they wanted to, something, a somber kind of, um, composition or they might do something you know in, in a, a more positive note they knew that 
And this is what, that's why they worked with certain uh, notes and wrote them all in, you know, a specific, around a specific key. But today started out with a C major and then it went into a D major. And right now, the current, the current sound we're hearing right now, at least I'm, I'm picking up right now, and I've already had a few confirmations already, is in the key of G. And it changes from day to day. Sometimes hour to hour. And sometimes for a long, like all day, you'll hear one. Every now and then, you'll get two or three different changes per day. But today, it was like, today, what happened is this. Yeah. So it started out, if you're just tuning in, exactly. If you're starting out, the C major chord would be this. And that, the C major is a C, E, B, I'm sorry, C, E, G, B, E. And that covers the root, the solar plexus, the throat, and the crown chakra. But if you notice, it kind of jumps three chakras. And then the next one that I heard was a D major, which would be this. And the D major is a D, an A, a D, and an F. So we got the D, A, D, F. And those chakras within that chord cover the ones that we missed on mm -hmm. the previous they, one. They bring it all. You know, the sacral, the third eye, the heart, and the throat chakra. So it, it was all brought together. And then now what we're hearing, what I'm hearing is the, the G. Like I said, en envision that or imagine that that's like three or four octaves higher. But the G chord would be the G, B, D, C, D, G, which covers the throat and the crown chakra. You got two higher level chakras along with the sacral chakra and the root chakra. So it's a beautiful, once again, a beautiful blend of all the chakras being. It's interesting how that happened when I showed up today. <laughs> Yeah. I have, uh, could you do me a favor? Sure. Uh, Rebecca uh, would like for you to uh, go over the frequency notes, and then could you tell them about your article about the about the frequency notes? Like, could you explain? Could you read the chakra the chakra name and the actual tone that goes with it? Is oh, that gosh. possible? Well, there's there's so many of oh, them. Oh, okay. Yeah. So okay. So, but you have articles daily. Yeah, um, every day I'm putting this out and um, on n5d.com. Th there's an article called "High Pitched Frequencies and What They Mean," and this is why I, I decided to do this here, so you can you guys can actually hear the current one that's going on right now, um, and that would be this. This is what I'm hearing right now, but higher, but much higher, uh, higher octaves, like three three octaves higher than that. So. Are you guys hearing that? Is anyone else hearing that? Yeah, why don't you chat, put in the chat right now if you're hearing that. So let's see what people are saying. Uh, Patricia is saying, heard a tone this morning. Made my heart race oh. and palpitate above the heart chakra. And I heard fear, vibration, and frequency. Could not sleep at all last night. Too much coming in, mostly really really good so what happens is we have um, a reptilian brain that has a fight or flight in it and that's kind of like I've always said that's one reason why uh, my guides don't just pop into my living room even though I think I could handle it I think the first thing that would happen is my heart would start beating fast and it, basically your your body has its own uh, sentience and consciousness and it, it just starts it reacts um, before you can control it and they they really don't want to scare us <laughs> and I really you re, we really think we don't have any fear and I was shown very clearly uh, my fears over the last year I think this year has been a huge clearing for fear um, but when you join together with like-minded people bringing star family together and when you talk about these things it's the knowledge that takes the fear away. And that's what that's one of the major things we want to do is just share and bring people together. And that's why I'm mirroring Greg's um, frequency update here so that we can uh, let people know that he, he's been doing these updates, um, bringing these tones uh, to everybody each day uh, just to share and to make everybody um, give everybody information. And that reduces the fear when you know what's going on. Um, there's different things that happen. Sometimes we are attacked by um, 
uh, frequencies that are coming through the main towers and the televisions and the computers, the Wi-Fi and the phones that literally are anxiety. And I know that I watched my son go through this um, and the ELF the, frequencies. Mm -hmm, the best thing that you can do is to literally stay grounded and in nature and take a, uh, a warm sea salt bath and that will help um, change the frequency to where uh, it will raise your vibration to where these frequencies no longer affect you. I think one of the things that Greg and I have noticed, and Greg probably a lot longer than me, is that eventually you become superhuman and you literally are not affected. I mean, he's on the computer hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, and hours a day and you're not affected by the Wi-Fi frequencies. But his vibration was so high when he came in he had to do a lot of things like, you know, early on, like drink alcohol and, you know, just to fit in and just to be in this vibration. It was very hard for him when he was, when he came in. A lot of us are like that. A lot of star seeds, a lot of um, light workers are like that. We're, you know, in our lives, we had to do things to lower our frequency to not only feel comfortable and fit in, but to stay in the body. And some people, some of us use food. Some of you use alcohol early on, maybe some marijuana before it got changed to uh, frankenweed and um, water. Water is a real, you know, it's better now these days to cut out all of the dependency things and and to use water and earthing and mother nature. Um, can I can I say, say one more thing about sure. grounding? I don't mean to hog your, no, your show okay. here, no, but, you no, know, when it comes, it comes. I mean, my higher consciousness always tells me what people, you know, that were that are tuned into this and now and in the future might need to hear. Mm -hmm. There was a period of time where I couldn't ground because there were two things going on. A, I had an implant in my uh, chakra right below my feet, between my feet and and Mother Nature, Earth. Um, I had a, a an implant there, and two, um, when I did ground. I was literally, because I'm so empathic, I was tuning in to the, the, the chaos and the sorrow and the fear of all of the collective consciousness on the planet. So it was really, really hard for me to ground. Um, I, um, I do a lot of clearing anyway uh, for the collective. So um, I have found in the last, whoops, <laughs> it's always a circus show. <laughs> I have found in the last year um, that I've been able to ground a lot more and um, Eric Rains, who's going to be joining us on the Waves, Waves of Light cruise um, as a speaker, he, um, he took that uh, implant out and you can do that yourself. I just um, happened to be uh, doing a session with him and um, he did that. So uh, I think a lot of us are targeted on the etheric plane to put implants in us to keep us from grounding because what we're doing is we are grounding these frequencies we are serving as receivers and transmitters so we're the frequencies are coming in and we're ground we're taking them in our physical body and we're grounding them into the planet and that is what's causing the changes uh to affect the whole collective and all of earth uh the waves of light cruise by the way is going out of tampa florida and it's seven it's january 17th through the 23rd First, and Greg and I are guest speakers on that cruise, um, along with Monica Benware, Marina Jacoby, Nicole Frolic, who's a writer for N5D, mm -hmm. uh, Michael Bla Black, Eric Rains, and Jessica Sanchez. So um, we're we feel very fortunate to be able to to do to get together and do some work over the water for I think four five days four nights. That'd be to Cosimo. One of the speakers, actually, um, I'm bringing my guitar and my little portable amp, and one of the speakers is actually a singer. So we're going to do a little yeah. jamming. Did I say wavesoflight.org? Dot org. Okay. Because, see, dot I can't org. remember what I said two seconds ago. Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody else have any mem memory problems? We did a, uh, for those of you just joining us, we did a beach, I did mirror Greg's beach update today. He does a beach update every day where where he's uh, putting love and intentions, unconditional love and uh, 
trying to heal the waters of Gulf of Mexico. If you've heard, we've got a natural disaster, not a natural disaster. We have a biological chemical attack happening in the Gulf of Mexico that is affecting uh, our marine life here. So this is just another thing. I want to give a big, huge shout out to everyone in California who has been affected by the fires. Our sincere condolences go to you for, for having to have your whole life uprooted, especially those who have lost everything. And um, we're, we're thinking about you. So I'm looking at the, you've got 55 people there. I've got 29, but I've noticed a lot of people saying that they did not get a notification that once again, sorry. Um, we're going to be working. We're going to do a little ritual tonight. And, yeah, we uh, are. Yeah. See if we can't reverse that Facebook, Facebook isn't spell. Doing anything it's a with spell us. basically. Yeah. And the, it's weird because the more you say I am banned from Facebook, the more you are, um, you know, creating it. So we've got to figure out another way to say that. Um, Cynthia Myers uh, on your Facebook page, there's an excellent person who clears implants and my, my, my facial. My, it's 11, 11 too. Right uh, now. Release in <laughs> Dunedin, Florida. Uh, Dunedin. D see ya. Huh? I have a problem talking too sometimes. There's implants and my facial release. Hmm. Yeah. I, I'm not sure what that is. I don't is. know. Uh, PM me if interested. Let's see. Um, Donna on my Facebook page earlier said that instead of high pitch frequencies uh, or the Morse code tones, she's hearing tapping and clicking. Interesting. Um, I do know that some insectoid beings um, are, are some of our star families, like our multidimensional selves. We can be like for me um, in the second dimension for my elemental, I'm an elven. And um, Greg is a fairy, we think. Leprechaun. A leprechaun, to be more precise. And, um, you know, uh, I have an aspect of me in the eighth dimension that's a dragon. And um, I also have an aspect of me, I'm not sure which dimension, you know, we're, we have multidimensional lives happening at the same time, that is an, in, an insect. And it's a, a, to be more specific, it's a praying mantis. And um, not very many races of our extraterrestrial family actually speak words. And a lot of times they just use sounds and um, some of them click. So you may be actually, what I'm intuiting is you may be actually receiving, um, they're actually speaking to you. <laughs> now, where you're from, they, they don't use words. And that has always been a challenge for, for you to uh, learn how to communicate um, more in, in the English language, wouldn't you say? I mean, more, seems, than, more than some people. I don't know if any of you guys out there feel this, but it seems a lot easier to just send out a hologram of what you think and what, what you want to say than to actually have to use words and say them. Does that make sense? So when Greg had a reading a while, like many years ago, and he was told that he was going to have this uh, have to do public speaking and talk to people. He was like, "That must not be me." Oh, that's when I had my galactic download. Oh yeah, I was told that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I'm like, that. "You got the wrong person." I, I'm an introvert. <laughs> that, and uh, where I come happen. from, we just send out thoughts. Yeah. And we don't speak. <laughs> we don't speak. It's telepathic, you know. Uh, so you come into this third uh, dimensional density, and. We have to speak. We have to formulate our thoughts. Or we already know what we want to say and what, how we're going to say it, but it just doesn't seem to come out the exact way we want to. Alina, thank you. On my Facebook page says, um, my old facial release is of the toxins in the muscles and blood. Okay, cool. Yeah, and um, Debbie says that she's having huge memory problems, and I imagine that uh, there's something. It's like selective. And I can't remember people's names. I've had that my whole life not only people's names, but names of everything, because where I come from, we don't have names. We have a sound, tone. <laughs> I know people by their tone. Well, a lot of, you know, when on the other side of the veil, we recognize each other as our energy signature because you've been here and you've done this so many times. You know, in, the, in this incarnation, I'm Greg, she's Michelle, but, you know, we've been male, we've been female, and we go by a thousand different names. I've but been your our, mother before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Kendra's mother. And Kendra, and Kendra was my yeah, sister. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's our energy signature that we it all boils down to. So. Um, 
Telepathy, telepathy is increasing, Melissa says. Diana said she had a hard time getting in here today. Mm. Um, I'm guessing, Diana, that you didn't get the notification like no one else did either. Um, well, we just ask that you share these videos so that we can get this information out to more people and share n5d.com. I've been writing for n5ds for five years now. Yeah. Started in October when I met Greg, October of 2013 at um, his conference here in Sarasota, Florida over on Lido Key. If any of you were at that conference, that was, that was pretty cool. It was on the beach, a holiday inn on the beach. Um, their prices went up way too high for us to have any more conferences there. And you know, conferences were bad. conferences were great. I think maybe um, I think maybe we're going to see something in our reality that's really going to give us the opportunity to do these conferences more in the in the future, more of a in, more of a fifth dimensional level. Mm -hmm. uh, but they do take a lot of uh, planning and time, and and uh, we really did enjoy having those. I don't we don't have anything planned except we're gonna. Um, it would be great if, if other people planned the conferences and then invited us. We'd be more than happy to do that. But we are going on that, going to speak on that cruise, which yes. is really cool. That'll be fun. I'm just checking the frequency right now to see if it's still in G. I wondered where you were. I thought you might have left the building no, for, still for a while. <laughs> it's still there. But in a higher octave. So I wrote an article. Um, on how to exit the matrix called more walk-ins are arriving now and I, and I hope you can check that out um, there are different kinds of walks in walk-ins there are um, braided walk-ins and there are soul exchange walk-ins and most of the time they are our higher selves or multi-dimensional selves or our star family um, somebody who is connected to us and then other times they're just other beings other extraterrestrial beings races that we made um, a uh, deal with to allow them because there's only so many bodies on the planet to allow them to experience and help um, experience what's happening and maybe they're bringing the frequencies in frequencies are coming from a lot of different places they're coming from the the central sun and uh, the great central sun and they're coming um, also from our extraterrestrial family and from other extraterrestrials who want earth to want to support earth because when earth ascends it is the final key in unlocking the universe um, changes the universal changes so what what we're doing here on earth affects the whole universe and there's probably billions of beings listening to us right now so in support uh, and to everybody else that's doing this work and I'll uh, one last thing and I'll be quiet it's okay <laughs> but um, um, I just want to uh, give a great shout out and support to all the people who have started doing interviews um, you know uh, and, and, and Facebook lives are just coming on Facebook and and uh, sharing their experiences and sharing what they how they see things uh, unfolding here. It's very important that we come out of the closet and um, speak our truth and that really does um, uh, it, it, it allows you to address your fears of what people think about you and it allows you to speak your truth. The truth frequency just gives me like goosebumps all over when I said that. Um, the truth frequency is so important. It's so important that you stand in your own truth but that you don't stand in a place of ego truth where you think you know everything because we don't. There's so much going on right now. Um, we, I have immense hope for what we're going through will change. Um, it's, it's happening for a reason. We don't always know all the answers, but most of the work our higher self and our soul is doing um, on the other side, you know, on the, on the subconscious side that where we don't remember if we remembered everything, it would give the, the, the nefarious beings the information. So sometimes we have to not remember so that we're not giving away all of, all of our plans and secrets and moves. You know, it's, it's not easy to go in front of, even if you're just in front of a computer doing a live stream or something like that. But I know as a speaker at a conference, you know, it's not easy to do, but you know, a lot of you guys know I, I call myself like the king of introverts. <laughs> I'm very introverted. 
And, um, but I've had so many people come up to me, like after I've done a presentation at a conference, saying, you know what, if you can do it, I can do it. And that's what we're encouraging you guys to do is get out there and do a live video, speak your truth. You know, even if you're the minority of one, it's your truth. As a matter of fact, matters. we're encouraging it and handing the baton down to the to the next generation of people who want to do this. Because a lot of us, you know, we're tired, but we're not depleted. I mean, we know how to um, regenerate our energy, and we're trying to keep the cup completely full because that's what it requires to receive these frequencies that are coming in and grounding them to the planet. And um, he has been out in the public. Um, I on Facebook doing uh, more a lot more work than I have lately because I have been in retreat making sure that I'm doing my own work and not um, you know I, I have to go off offline as far as um, just being able to be with myself and a lot I know a lot of you out there feel the same way if you can't be by yourself at least make time for yourself and one of the best things um, if you live in a you know a household full of people, one of the best things that you can do is get in that bathroom, shut the door, lock it, and get in the shower or the <laughs> bath, and spend. And when you do that, use the water, use the intention to clear your energy field, to give you that balance, and give yourself some self love, and give the earth some self love. She she could use it right now. Oh yeah, um, I'm looking at the totals here. You have like twice as many people. As I do. Hi, everybody. We're um, winning. No, that's not a competition. We were talking about competition yesterday. Right, yeah. Right. But um, um, Greg, Greg has contacted Facebook. Unfortunately, it seems to have worked in the opposite way for him to where his, you know, he's working really hard and doing all this work, but it's not getting out to um, very many people. So if you could share, um, if you could share this. Yeah. Greg Prescott, uh, G R E G G. P R E S C O T T on Facebook. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, it's it's just showing me that you know I have a few more followers than Michelle, but she has twice as many people tuning in, and the people that are we've got our computers side by side, and the people that are making comments on mine are saying I did not get notified. So they should have been, and I'm sorry that you didn't, but I'm glad that you guys all found us right now, and I'll be uploading this to the N Five D YouTube channel as well. So. Jennifer says, I just learned how to remove implants myself or with the help from galactic humans. Uh, we are supposed to chant who, 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 who or who? I'm not sure. I'm who, trying to who. remember. Um, but that's um, something I came across actually um, from Scott uh, in the conference that I had when I went to Portland, he was, I think it's who, so if you do that, um, you know, there's a lot of different things that you can do um, to raise your frequency to make these implants um, and the technology that we have in our etheric field to make them inert, and I've written articles on that. She says, I was speaking yesterday and I had everyone doing the hue chant. Um, once I stopped and listened to everyone, it sounded like bees buzzing. It was beautiful and has amazing effects. Uh -huh. Well, and I think that, um, you know, that is the code or the um, sound <clears throat> of uh, humans, you know, humans. humans. That's why we're named that. So right. um, collectively, you can do that. Um, toning and, you know, sound is, is very important. Water is, I think, the number one, um, you know, water is life. Mm -hmm. But toning and um, the way that you, when you prepare your water for your beach um, update every day to put the intentions in the water, you use a, a singing bowl mm -hmm. to uh, program the water. With a crystal grid around the singing bowl. But I've got this large frosted singing bowl that. What, is. um, is that uh, tuned to the heart? Heart chakra frequency, I think it was. I think it's it? I, I, I think it's a G. Oh, okay. It's yeah. really big, beautiful. So let's check that. You, you know, um, you can sing to your water when you're in the tub <laughs> as well and give love to the water, and it in turn um, affects the water in your body and uh, changes the frequency of the water and raises its vibration. If it's a G, the G is the throat chakra. 
of all chakras for me to, oh. for the introvert. <laughs> yeah. Okay, introvert, get your ass out there and start using your mouth. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we have any comments on your uh, from your viewers there. 5D is material. What for me is difficult to understand is how is it going to happen. I I have a funny telepathic connection with my cat. You know, of course, the main re the main uh, question that we all have is how is it going to happen. One thing I can say is it's happening now, and it's unfolding rapidly. Although it's actually feels very slow. I know a lot of people wanted it to just happen overnight at the end of 2012, and um, we are. There's so many things that have to click into place. We are receiving so much help because I said how important it was for the whole universe that Earth uh, raise her frequency. One thing that is not that is not good is um, the false light galactics, um, Ashtar Command, Galactic Federation of Light posers, um, the Saint Germain posers a lot of the Ascended master, master Posers that would like to get some of us worshiping them and take um, take us to a false 5D Earth in the in, which really exists in the upper level of the astral realm. So there's no need to follow anybody. There's no need to give praise outside of yourself. What we're doing is we are becoming whole on a soul level as we integrate aspects of our multidimensional selves in our bodies and um, we are transforming the planet and the grid the the matrix control system by doing that with our frequency with our programming that's in our DNA that we carry from the stars and that is what's going to shift our reality I don't know if there will be a moment to where our reality, obviously there has to be. How much worse could it get out there, right? But our challenge is to stay grounded and balanced within ourselves, and that changes our local reality. There's nothing happening in this room. There's nothing happening in our lives except for your Facebook banning, but that's obviously, an, you know, they're really pulling out the stops to attack you to stop getting information out to the star people mm -hmm. but um there's nothing really i mean we're not in dire straits we don't have health problems and things like that so in our local reality everything is is doing pretty good um just getting back to what she was saying about the you know when will it happen and michelle was saying it's happening you know right now and ultimately, I think, you know, the event itself, like that. I hope so. That's well, why don't we just intend that that happened? But we have to remember certain things have to happen. We want that we came, most of us came back and inserted ourselves back into the timeline to try to affect more people, to bring more people into that chakra aligning or um, compression into the heart because if you if you can't get into your heart and if you can't heal your emotional issues and if you can't get out of fear then it's going to be very hard when earth makes her final shift into another frequency when she changes the television channel to have a different reality a different body then you're not going to be able to um, to handle that or to experience that now that doesn't mean that people who aren't waking up aren't going to be taken care of there will be there is a plan to help people who are not waking up they'll just go on to another 3d reality and be able to uh, wake up that way but we wanted to bring more people with us this time I try to you know I try to honor everyone's path you know I see some people that may not be going down the right path at times but eventually I hope that everyone's path just meets up together right before the event 
And Everyone ascends eventually because there's no such thing as time. It's all about the experience. So even if we were to ascend tomorrow, we might see our loved ones there because our reality will provide that, that we jumped into the future where they are already are ascended while they, that aspect of them that is individualized, gets to um, go through you know, the process. But we don't have to go through the process. See our friend Stacy just joined us. Hi, Stacy, Stacy LeClaire, best dentist in Florida. Aspen <laughs> Dental. <laughs> but um, if, if you guys are just joining in, this is the key that I'm hearing right now for the high pitch frequency. It started out, where is it? Started out with uh, C major and then D major. Now we're into the G major. So this is what I'm hearing. Julie says she just started getting a new major buzzing in the right side of her head and ear while listening. Um, hmm. Separate, Greg and I both uh, were told that, you know, we have codes, star codes that we're sharing, and we just from speaking and from Watching, looking at our yeah. face, we're able to, to share those codes to help. Um, and, and, and as well, you guys have codes. That mm -hmm. you could be, you know, you could give to us if you were to speak, um, uh, and on down the line. Um, but together, um, we have seen the synchronicity um, about this. This is what happened with because we're together. This is what happened today when when we're doing this together live. You're getting both of us. So I would say apart or separate. Uh, Greg is a very much person than I am a totally you know a different person and uh, it was hard for uh, for the last five years for our friendship to um, to for both of us to um, move the ego out of the way not get rid of the ego but move the ego out of the way and to realize and when almost always humans are reacting or acting out of fear and projecting onto other people and we're both seeing a different side of a reality and so I think one of the hardest things as we get back as we you know are able now I think we're at a place where all of the fear is gone all the projections are gone wouldn't you wouldn't you agree mm -hmm. and no matter and forgiveness and, and unconditional love um, heals everything getting back to what Julie was saying about she's getting a major buzzing in her right side of her head and ear uh, while listening. Okay, um, and I wanted to bring this up too, and I'm glad that you brought that up, Julie. Wow, <laughs> a sprinkler system going yeah, on sorry. here. But I wanted to bring it up too that in QHHT, your left side is your past and your right side is your present. So something, whatever's going on on your right side, Julie, something's happening in your current life. Also keep this in mind too, that your left side is the divine feminine and the right side is the divine masculine. So there might be some kind of masculine energy that's happening, that's going on in your life. A father figure, a boyfriend, friend, male friend, child maybe, something along those lines, something's happening with you right now. And that's probably, you, you know, you have a better idea than I do, Julie, so. Well, I guess what's coming to me is that when I incarnated, I was more masculine. And when Greg incarnated, he was more feminine. So what I was trying to get to, and I kind of get sidetracked, is that the, the masculine and the feminine actually being together on this gives a balanced frequency and it can activate certain things for people. Jennifer says that, I have the clicking sometimes too, and I've already seen the reptoids in my deep meditation. So wow. I know that some of the reptilians do click as well. Now, not all reptilians are bad, but most not all that one laying on the sidewalk or on the pavement. <laughs> that poor, that poor little. There's well, a anole. There's uh, a lot of lizards lizard. in Florida, and yeah. the so we we watch for signs and watch everything speaks to you in your reality. And there was a dead. A small uh, baby, a no lizard, upside down and dead, uh, on the on the ground. And yeah. I said, I hope that was Marduk. But um, most of the Dracos are not good, but not all of the reptilians are bad, um, and some of them do click as well. 
um, it's just very important that you that you become sovereign and that you command all the space um, around you that you are existing in and don't let any um, you know do your intentions and don't let any malevolent beings that don't have your best highest and best interest in mind in your space I think we covered just about everything that I wanted to cover today. Is there anything else that you wanted to cover? That, that's it for me. I appreciate you posting uh, my article on uh, the Schumann Resonance and Ascension Symptoms on N5D. That's Thank awesome. you. It's an awesome article. Check out N5D.com. My website's howtoexitthematrix.com. And if you have manifested the means to come join us on a cruise, we are guest speakers on wavesoflight.org, January 17th out of Tampa, Florida. Yep. Yeah, so I guess until tomorrow, I'm going to be doing this every day. I'm going to be having a high pitch frequency, whatever the frequency of the day is. You know, I'll be here to talk about it, and you'd love to join me then. If I'm here, I will. All right. So <laughs> um, until the next time, I'm sending you all infinite love and light. This is Greg from in5d.com and zentasia.com, and Michelle from. How to exit the matrix .com. Uh, Yes, your new website, Zentasia. I'm sorry I forgot to mention that. It's yeah. really cool. It's, it's um you do a lot of daily like just thoughts and you've started writing more articles. I'm really yeah. glad that you're that you're writing more articles. Yeah, I'm posting. When we first met, your articles, um, N five D articles really were amazing and taught me a lot. Um, so I'm Thank glad you. that you're writing again. <laughs> I am. Thank you. Bye everybody. Thanks Bye. for joining us. Thank you. Namaste.